Hi, Poppeton. Meet the characters. Poppeton, Cherry Sue, Phil Moore. Neighbors. Poppeton used to be a city pig. He did city things. He took taxis. He jogged in the park. He went to museums. Then, one day, Poppeton got tired of city life. He moved to a small house in a small town. Poppeton's small house was charming. It had a little sunroom where Poppeton took naps. It had lots and lots of cells where Poppeton kept things. It had a little garden where Poppeton planted corn, and it had Cherry Sue. Cherry Sue was Poppeton's new neighbor. Cherry Sue was very friendly. In the morning, she called out, "Yo ho, Poppeton! Would you like some oatmeal?" So Poppeton had oatmeal with Cherry Sue. In the afternoons, she called out, "Yo ho, Poppeton! Would you like a toasted cheese?" So Poppeton had toasted cheese with Cherry Sue. At night, she called out, "Yo ho, Poppeton!" Would you like spaghetti? So Poppeton has spaghetti with Cherry Sue. This went on day after day. At first, it was fun, but not for long. Some mornings, Poppeton did not want oatmeal. He wanted to sleep. Some afternoons, Poppeton did not want toasted cheese. He wanted TV. Some night, Poppeton did not want spaghetti. He wanted to practice playing his harmonica. But Cherry Sue kept calling, "Yo ho, Poppeton!" One day, when he was watering his lawn, Poppeton couldn't take it any more. When Cherry Sue stuck her head out the window and yelled, "Yo ho!" Poppeton shook her with the hose. Poppeton cried, "Cherry Sue, dripping." Poppeton felt awful. He ran to get a towel for Cherry Sue. "I'm sorry, Cherry Sue," said Poppeton. "I just got so sick of oatmeal, and toasted cheese, and spaghetti. Sometimes I just like to be alone." You too," said Cherry Sue. "I kept inviting you over, because I didn't know how to stop inviting you over. I thought it might hurt your feelings." Then Poppeton shook himself with the hose. They laughed and laughed. Poppeton and Cherry Sue were best friends from then on. The library. Poppeton went to the library every Monday. Monday was always Poppeton's library day. If Cherry Sue invited him to tea on Monday, Poppeton would say, "Sorry, library day." If there was a wonderful parade in town on Monday, Poppeton would say, "Too bad, library day." Poppeton took library day very seriously. At the library, Poppeton always got a table all to himself. He spread out each of his things on the table: his ice glasses, his tissues, his lip balm, his pocket watch, his book marker, and his duffel. Then he began to read. Poppeton liked adventure stories. He buried his head in an adventure book every Monday. And left it there all day long. Sometimes he needed a tissue for a sad part. Sometimes he needed a lip balm for a dry part. Sometimes he needed his pocket watch for a slow part. But he loved his adventure. At the end of the day, Poppeton finished the story. He thanked 
the librarian and packed up his things in his duffel. Then he slowly walked home, all dreamy from so much adventure. Monday was Poppleton's favorite day of all. The pill. Poppleton's friend Fillmore was sick in bed. Poppleton brought Fillmore some chicken soup. I feel terrible, Poppleton said. Fillmore, have a bowl of soup, said Poppleton. First, I have to take my pill, said Fillmore. Where is it? asked Poppleton. Over there on the table," said Fillmore. Poppleton brought Fillmore his pill. "I can't take it like that," said Fillmore. "You have to hide it." "Hide it?" asked Poppleton. "You have to hide it in my food," said Fillmore. "I'll put it in the soup," said Poppleton. "No." It has to be in something sweet," said Fillmore. "Sweet?" asked Poppleton. "Sweet and soft," said Fillmore. "Sweet and soft?" asked Poppleton. "Sweet and soft with raspberry filling," said Fillmore. "Sweet and soft with raspberry filling," asked Poppleton. And chocolate on top," said Fillmore. "Chocolate on Fillmore? Are you talking about Cherry Sue's heavenly cake?" asked Poppleton. Fillmore smiled. Poppleton went away. Soon he came back with Cherry Sue's heavenly cake. "Now I can hide your pill," said Poppleton. Don't tell me which piece of cake is in," said Fillmore. Poppleton sliced the cake into ten pieces. He hid Fillmore's peel in one of them. Fillmore had the first piece. Yum," said Fillmore. "Did I take my peel?" Poppleton shook his head. Fillmore had another piece. Yum," said Fillmore. Did I take it? Poppleton shook his head. Fillmore ate piece after piece after piece. Did I take it? Poppleton kept shaking his head. Finally, there was only one piece of cake left. Thank goodness," said Poppleton. Fillmore looked at a piece of cake. I can't eat that one," he said. "It has a pill." "Well, what can you eat?" shouted Poppleton. "Something lemony," said Fillmore, "with coconut." "I feel sick," said Poppleton. "Move over." Poppleton and Fillmore were sick in bed for three days. They took lots of pills. It took twenty-seven cakes to get them down. The end.